So question one, fifth part. We are continuing with factorization by splitting the middle term. So when you multiply the first and the last, again you are getting 100x square. Number at the center minus 20x. So you have to think of two factors which on adding will give us negative 20x and on multiplying 100. So that is minus 10 and minus 10. Okay. And then I have already explained to you the procedure that you will take common in the first two. 10x is common, 10x minus 1. Here minus 1 is common, 10x minus 1. Both the brackets are same. So you will combine this. And therefore here also we find that both the factors are identical. So therefore the values of x will also be same. Right. So you understood how to find out the value of x by splitting the middle term. Next uh, uh, question number two, they have asked us to look at the solved examples. So you need to go through the solved examples. They have already solved that and they have left it at two equations and we need to solve those. Okay. So you need to read those word problems and you can go through those solved examples to find out how they have made this equation. At the moment, they are asking us to solve these two quadratic equations further. They have not solved this in the quadratic equation uh, in the solved example. Now, how do we do this? Now, when you multiply the first and last, you are getting 3 to 4. That's the product. And when you are adding, you are getting minus 45. Okay, so uh, if it is small numbers, you can do it orally. But if the numbers are big and you cannot find out the factors, so the method is to find out the prime factors of the product. So what is the product here? 3 to 4 x square. So what I need to do is find out the factors of 3 to 4. Okay. So when I find out the factors of 3, fact, uh, 3 to 4, these are the prime factors. I need to try out various combinations which on adding will give me 45. All these numbers on multiplying will give me 3 to 4. But now I need to find out which combination is going to give me 45. So there is no direct method. You need to try that. And when I tried, I found that when I multiply these four together, 2 to the 4, 4 to the 12, 12 to the 36, and I multiply these two together, I get 9. So this 36 and 9 are the required factors because 36 and 9, when I add, I am going to get 45, right? So you need to work out which two combination will give me a total of 45. And of course, the sign here is negative 45. So your factors are minus 36x and minus 9x. Okay, and once you get the factors, then this part is easy. Taking common x common x minus 9, minus 9 common x minus 36. My both brackets are same, so my factors are correct. Then I'll combine it x minus 9, x minus 36. So the values of x is 36 and 9, right? Similarly, the second solved example again, the question you need to find, read from the solved example, and they have left it here. And we were asked to solve this quadratic equation. Again by splitting. Now the product here is 750. So what I need to do is find out the factors of 750. So I've got the factors here. And we'll have to work out some combination so that I get 55. Negative 55. Okay. So I have worked out a combination here. 2 5s are 10. 10 and 3 is 30. And 5 5s are 25. So this is giving me 30. And this is giving me 25. So 30 and 25 when I add is giving me 55. So you need to work out this. Okay. Factors you will get. And all these are definitely going to give you the product. What you need to do is find out a combination which on adding will give me the sum. So my combination is 30 and 25. Of course, I'll put minus 25 and minus 30 because the sum is minus 55. Okay. And then the common part. This you've understood now. And then you will find the factors. And once you find the factors, you will get the two answers, 25 and 30. Okay. So these are, this is the, how we solve this by splitting the middle term then moving on to that word problem that is question number three okay so what is the question says find out two numbers which on adding will give me 27 and on multiplying will give me 182 so there are two numbers involved one is the two clues that they have given is that when you add you have to get 27 when you multiply you have to get 182 okay so we are assuming let the numbers be x and y and the total is 27 and when you multiply you are getting 182 these are our two equations but remember this is not linear equation in two variables so ideally you should have only one variable so i have used two variables but i can replace the value of y here so that i get in one variable and it becomes a quadratic okay so x plus y is 27 so the value of y is 27 minus x i will put the value of y here so x into 27 minus x is 182 so when you open the bracket, you get minus x square plus 27x minus 182 is 0. 
and then like before we'll split the middle term so i found out the factors of 182 i've got here okay 291 7 and 13 when i multiply 7 and 2 i'm getting 14 and i'm arriving at this conclusion that 14 and 13 are the factors because when you add you have to get 27 right so i've got the factors here 14 and 13 okay so 14 and 13 will give me a total of 27 on addition again taking common okay the factors we are getting x minus 14 and minus x plus 13 equate both the brackets to 0 you get the value of x as 14 and x as 13 okay so what are the two numbers if i am assuming that the first number is 14 then the second number will be 27 minus 14 that is 13 if i assume that the first number is 13 the second number will be 27 minus 13 is 14 so the two numbers are either 14 13 or it could be 13 14 okay so this is how we solve this word problem i'm sure you will be able to do all the word problems by using this method because here all the sums are being solved by splitting the middle term we haven't used any other formula besides splitting the middle term